a what duck you? that you've never seen I'm before. A duck. <laughs> I'm wearing a trench coat. <laughs> so is Freddy getting fired or what? Hi guys and welcome to the Shan Care Van. In today's video, we're back with more duck detective so in our last episode we got to meet this wonderful wacky kind of unhinged uh group of characters and now let me take a little deeper dive into mr bea here uh mr ernst sorry my bad i'm gonna ask him about this was it you who called me no i never heard of you before that's unusual <laughs> it's good you're here since there has been some unrest mm. curious not to mention like if you've never heard of me you just let me in like i said oh yeah i know one of the people that works here and you're like oh sure checks out <laughs> uh, you're still i have a feeling you're not enjoying my company not particularly thanks bruh i think that's all i'm gonna get from here oh poor thing let's go to the kitchen in here must be the crime scene. First, I want to find out who the people in the office are. It will make things easier in the long run. I'll need to remember to write everything oh. down in my- Wow, okay, so I can't go into the kitchen yet. Cool, cool. Oh, I need to know their names, that's right. Uh, I must be missing something. I need to know their names, but I'm like, I don't think I have enough, do I? Maybe she's Laura. Uh, angst. <laughs> Fred Denson. I'm just gonna start guessing. We know she's not Whitlock, because that's the, the other lady. Sedaris is someone else. So it's Petrovich, Fregerson. Or Let's try angst. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, there was a thing. Let's see. What could his name be? Rufus one. Freddy sucks. <laughs> um, considering his job is related to the woman that's standing outside saying y'all suck, I'm gonna guess he didn't get employee of the month. So let's go with, oh wait, no, Rufus is the one that won. So Freddy. Um, Sedaris is the one that won. Whitlock is the other girl. So Freddy Fredderson just sounds like goofy. And I'm right. <laughs> nice, nice. Can I go now? <laughs> Can I go in the kitchen? I feel like I've exhausted all the dialogue out here. Here must be first. I want ah, to make things. Okay. I'll need to remember to write. Who am I missing then? Do I need to know more people? Do I just need to put names to people? They won't let me. Okay. Oh. What is this though? The suspect. Oh, okay. The bear is Manfred and he is the ranch manager. Blank the cat. Uh oh, that's what's her name, Laura. Uh customer service. Am I right? Oh, there's more. <laughs> the crocodile called Freddy works in the operating oh, dang it uh let's see i know manfred's right sophie operating office that's probably wrong receptionist there we go that's what i'm talking now about <laughs> that i had worked out these names i was ready to check out the crime scene nice let's nice. see where that lunch got stolen from then I could finally talk to my client. Wouldn't it be nice to know the client first? But okay. Let's do it. Do it to it. <laughs> as soon as I entered the kitchen, the comforting waft of cheap white toast entered my nostrils. You got a problem, dude. <sighs> I knew I had to stay strong. This wasn't what I was here for. Oh my god, the voice acting in this is... Stop oh, eating no. the icing! Can't you wait a couple hours? Hours? Margaret, 
if it wasn't for these pants almost bursting. Oh. <laughs> I'd have this for breakfast every day. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, yes. And you can have it and so much more later when we're done preparing. Is she making a cake at work? Like you ain't got other things to be doing? Yes, dear. I'm Eugene McQuacklin, detective. And I need to ask some questions. A detective? How exciting! <laughs> What's the most gruesome murder you've seen? See, I wouldn't ask that, but I would have a lot of questions because I love watching like First 48 and true crime documentaries. <laughs> How many dead bodies have you encountered? Okay, now that's just creepy. I'm the ones you gotta look out for. Ah, uh, what the f <laughs> Five little pigs, teething turtles, Lee? Let's do five little pigs. No one died. Investigated a case once where five little pigs robbed a bank. Bank robbing. Caught them red-handed and got myself an article in the Goose Times. <laughs> they called it the Piggy Bank Case. Wait, is he a goose or a duck? <laughs> Did someone get shot? Girl. What? No. Beaten up. Yeah, she got. Uh, you got to watch out for that. No. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Surely you must have some interesting stories. Teething turtles? <laughs> I almost died that one time mm -hmm. when I got myself into trouble with the Teething Turtles Mafia. Mm, the syndicate. <laughs> that incident taught me to stay away from beautiful ladies in red. Roxanne. Did they break your kneecaps? All right. Uh, no. <laughs> You can see that I can walk just fine. Hmm. <laughs> oh, let's check her out. <laughs> oh. Are her eyes swollen? Well, they just look like that. I guess that's just the... What is she? A sheep? <laughs> Tan line divorced. Oh. What was she baking? Motherly. Okay, okay. What are we missing? Oh, what's in her hair? Oh, impeccable. Well groomed. Mm. Huh. Did you call me? Do you know anyone <laughs> here who could have hired me? Hmm, to be honest, everyone was quite shocked by the lunch theft. <laughs> No one told me they've called a detective. I see why. I don't know what's going on at all. Okay. What about us? Uh, I think of Sophie Windheimer. She doesn't have the easiest life, you know. Yeah, y'all forgot she her just birthday. had a terrible breakup with her ex. Looks like you did too. <laughs> but don't tell anyone. All right, Mrs. Blabbermouth. Can you tell me anything about Laura Angst? Oh, she's such a hard-working girl. I heard she secretly studies for her online bachelor's during work. <laughs> you need to keep this a secret, though. Jesus. All right, girl. So much for secrets. Oh, I can just go in the fridge. Margaret. Who's Margaret? I guess I haven't met them yet. R.S. Thanks for the food. Salami. Bandit? What? So you, you named yourself? <laughs> the heck? Sharp claws. So, this must be the crime scene. Hmm. This note is curious. So you took somebody's lunch and left a note? <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> Dishwasher's broken again. What's wrong with these youngsters? Mm -hmm. Don't know how to treat things with respect. Why so would they the put snappers. their mugs in face up? <laughs> oh, oh boy. Although I would be mad too. I'm like, you just gonna have mugs full of dirty dishwasher. Worker shoes. Practical. Okay. Okay. I mean, you, you should be at this job. Toolbox janitor. Oh, what's the A? 
sticker sci-fi thing. <laughs> I said A, but I think it's a Star Trek thing. Okay, okay. Uh, what can you tell me about Manfred? Do you get along with Manfred Ernst? Hmm. He's a stubborn one. I do respect that. Okay, hardworking man respects people in charge. Would you Makes say sense. you enjoy Freddy Ferdersen's um, <laughs> company? <laughs> they probably get along. They're both nerdy. Huh. Oh? If anyone needs to learn to respect their elders, oh. it's that moron. Dang. I'm a private detective, and I'm here to investigate a case. Is that so? <laughs> he doesn't seem to care. <laughs> Do you know who it could be? Yeah, Freddy's a bit of a weird one, so I'd imagine you would call detective. <laughs> Personally, I feel we're doing just fine. I don't need no messing about a business around here. Somebody sounds suspicious, especially since you just wanted to eat some uncooked cake batter. Hmm. But you strike me as the type that wouldn't just... Close. Uh, <laughs> would just leave a note. <laughs> I doubt they washed their hands after leaving that greasy handprint. Is that not also sharp claws? Like the, the missing thing? Oh, secret secrets. Is that a cow? I thought it was a cow nose. Halloween party. Ooh. Canceled. Budget cuts. Dang. <laughs> so they get along. Looking for editor unpaid. Hungry. Get your own lunch. Dang. So is this not the first time somebody's stolen a lunch? Office parties are a bad idea anyway. They stopped doing them at the precinct after the... Uh jam incident i would love to know <laughs> what jam incident happened i guess i should put their names um i don't know about janitor dude but i know that her name is maybe margaret i know we got whitlock hey i don't think i have anything oh yeah, he's the one that's um, employee of the month. It was like a bird, but I guess it was a penguin. Okay, so we're still missing one employee. Mm, the mystery deepens. <gasps> we're outside. Was it raining when we came in? The cold air ruffled my feathers. <laughs> and I wondered what kind of sorry soul was standing all alone in the rain. A suspicious soul. Just had to do it. I'm sorry. But I want to get some clues first. Is that a backpack? <laughs> sorry. Getting clues just involves rustling through stuff. Oh. Oh. What is this? Someone left their bag here. It looks like Freddy's bag. Ugh. It's full of dirty gym clothes. Hmm. Ooh, double bag kit. Hey Hello. man, this isn't the bus stop. Well, no. <laughs> You'll have to walk south to the central bus station. What? I'm not here to take a bus. In the middle of the round, I'm gonna walk in. Jesus. Oh, it's cold out, but if I go inside, I have to face Sophie. <gasps> Is this her ex? I know they had a breakup and her birthday is today. Why would you come to her place of work though? Well proportioned. Oh, he's handsome. He, uh, hands and pockets, bad manners. He's a good looking, is he an ox? Uh, what are we missing? Oh, Boris got a name. Oh, I just thought about um, Bindi and the Ink Machine. I'm playing that too. So that Boris was a wolf in that game. I'm gonna leave Sophie to the I'm end. I'm investigating a case here at Bearbus. Does he work here? Oh, uh, do you mean the lunch that got stolen? Hmm. Exactly. Do you know who called me? You know a little nah, too much. Too busy minding my own business. Ah. 
I like that. He said, "Ain't my problem." Mm, don't start don't no stuff. Much with the customer service folks. <laughs> don't start no stuff. Won't be no stuff. Mm -hmm. Customer service. Do you folks. know anything about this bag? Oh, it's really strange. Mm -hmm. Things in it disappeared. What do you mean? And others appeared. Um. Very suspicious. Yeah, whose bag is it? <laughs> what are you even talking about? And how would you know that there was stuff in it? Is this your bag? No. <sighs> then whose is it? Here is being really unhelpful. What about Penguin what do you Man? Know about Rufus Sedaris? <laughs> I don't think he likes me very much, to be honest. He doesn't seem to like anybody very much, except for food. <laughs> but then. Doesn't feel like he likes yep. anyone at this office. <laughs> Except for Margaret, I guess. Do you think they have a thing going on? He wants their food. I don't work here. <laughs> I thought you were a detective. <laughs> Let's see, good old Freddy. Uh, like Freddy Frederson? <laughs> I don't think many people He's do. He's a pretty funny dude. Really? Loves to rant about detective novels. Oh. And last, but definitely not least, what do you Sophie. Think of Sophie Windheimer. <sighs> mm. Man, I wish she'd let me talk to her. Oh, that's an interesting way to put it. Is she mad at you because of the breakup, or you like want her, but you can't have her? The plot thickens. Okay, uh. Let's see here. We've got him, Mr. Boris. I don't have a last name for him, though. I guess I should ask others. But since he knows Sophie, I feel like she and Sophie are close, so she would have something to say. Dang. At least question what about, do you Manfred. Think about Manfred. Ernst. Oh, he's a great guy. Really? I just wish I'd finally get a raise. Wow. Yes, yeah, sorry. This is Barabas. Your bus will be three hours late. Dang. At that point, I'm just Can walking. You tell me more about <laughs> Freddy Frederson. Let me put you on hold while I find the route for you. <laughs> Freddy? He gets paid more than me. Can you imagine that? Whoa. <laughs> what an incompetent waste of office space. I will say I felt that uh, working as an artist in an office environment, like graphic designer, everybody got paid more than I did. And I did a lot more work than a lot of people there. So I feel you, girl. I feel you. <laughs> Hello, this is Laura again. I checked the bus routes and found that. Oh, okay. Maybe Freddy knows about Bear Man. Uh... Bear man, uh, not bear man, but goat man. Why can't I what ask you know anyone about, about him? Fred Arist? I think he likes me. Mm -hmm. He's the only one who doesn't shout at me. Oh, poor Freddy. I feel what for can him you tell now. Me about Margaret Whitlock. And he can't help that he's just a little, she little gets different. Really angry with me when I don't return mugs to the kitchen. Um, yeah, I can see him piling up. <laughs> why don't you just return them? I do! Uh, just not every day. <laughs> yeah, what about this, bag? this bag? It looks like your bag. Huh? No, mine's over there. The one with all the salami? <laughs> yeah! You really like why salami. Do you need so much <laughs> salami. That's not mine. It was just there. Um, a really nice surprise. The, the, sir, that's not how things work. <laughs> the heck? Freddy is just as incompetent as they come. And he gets paid more than this overworked poor thing over here. Uh, I need to find out more about Mr. Boris. And I'm not talking Bendy. But apparently he might have a little thing thing going over with little Miss Thang Thang. Oh my Birthday god. Girl. I love these KTS memes Laura keeps sending me. KTS. Like BTS. Y'all are adorable. 
Uh, yeah. Let's ask what can you questions. tell me about Laura Angst? Laura needs to chill out. Okay. I do love her, but if she keeps living like this, she'll have a heart attack by 23. She ain't wrong. Girl over here chugging energy drinks. How are you getting on with Margaret Whitlock? She's sweet and all, but... Crazy? Creepy? She can't keep her mouth <laughs> shut. <laughs> it seems Lever like now. the office knows more about my personal life than me. <laughs> That's why you gotta keep your personal life uh, private when you at work. Because they will talk. I mean, what else do we have to talk about at work than the other co-workers? Come on now, it's a given. <laughs> so, do you have an idea who would have hired me? Hmm? It's about the incident, isn't it? Uh, Whose lunch was stolen? Sorry, no idea. So no one knows whose lunch was stolen? Can I go in here yet? It says server room. It's locked. I need a key. What am I missing at this point? Because I feel like I've talked to everyone and done everything, but now I'm just stuck. Maybe I can talk to Manfred about some more stuff. Now that I know some more people. How are the detective things going, Mr. Detective? It's Mr. McQuacklin. <laughs> right. Apologies. Um, hmm? Are you planning on staying in my office oh. much longer? <laughs> I'll have but to inspect get the, the entire on? premise to do my job correctly. Okay, well, same old, same old. Not that. Jeez. Yeah, okay, now we can ask some more stuff. What is Rufus Sedaris like? Yeah, not the greatest janitor. Dang. But <laughs> he came with the building. Okay, grandfathered in. What do you know about Laura Angst? Oh, she's a fantastic employee. But you don't pay her? <laughs> she basically does the work of five people. But you don't pay her? Hate that. Oh, I hate that. Who was the one that was looking to get a raise? It's a letter for an application for a promotion signed by L. Angst. Mm. Okay, so Laura. Okay, yeah, she wants a raise. What am I missing? Hmm. Mm, let's go back to Blabbermouth in the scene, I guess. I'm like, is there another space that I can go into? Surely you must have some interesting stories. Sorry. That's an inappropriate. Uh, <laughs> dang it. Wrong button. Okay, cool, cool. Are you getting along with Rufus Sedaris? You know... The two of us are from the older generation. <laughs> the boomers in the office. <laughs> Which means we understand each other well. He is quite harsh towards the younger ones, though. Yep. See, oh, I hate it working with boomers because they, they wanted me to talk to them and be their friend. But I'm like, what are we supposed to talk about? At that time, I was like, what, 22, something like that. And... Meanwhile, they're talking about their grandkids and like traveling the world and I just bought a house and I just bought a car and I'm just like, bruh, <laughs> I'm paying off student loan debt living in my first apartment. Like, I don't know how we gonna connect, but all right, whatever. <laughs> Do you know whose bag this is? Mm -hmm. Isn't that Freddy's? Mm -hmm. Seems like Freddy took the wrong bag, but like... Why? How? When? <laughs> Seems like the only difference is one had salami and one's got, um, uh, what? Uh, gym clothes in it? What is your relationship with Margaret Whitlock? Ah, oh, she's a true sweetheart. We have our weekly mahjong evenings. Mm, he said, <laughs> can I get to the yams? Sweet. Do you know anything yeah. about this bag? Show Why are you going around bag. pushing bags into people's faces? Okay, you sound very suspicious now. Ugh, what's that awful smell? Okay. It's, uh, dirty 
So I'm gonna go ahead and guess. Knock that over first. Oh boy. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that our boy Rufus might have stole the lunch, the salami, and like blamed it on somebody else. I don't know. I'm like, is there something else I can do? Oh, I doubt they want. What am I missing here? Oh, maybe I just need to do deductions. I still don't have a last name for Boris. Oh, now I have one. Okay, can I? Ducks in a row achieved. Okay, so can I ask about him now? No, okay, cool. <laughs> Anywho, the client blank hired the duck detective because stolen. I'm gonna go ahead and start making some guesses. So Freddy's got a cup from someone named Laura. Hmm. Did someone got their lunch stolen? Uh. But no one said. Bear bus hired the duck because his or her can't be bear bus. It wasn't Laura. No one has said that their lunch was stolen, which like, ah, salami bandit. But whose lunch was stolen? Hence available by closing your journal. <laughs> so that's wrong. <laughs> Freddy? Don't think so. Laura. Okay. I know her mug was stolen. So it was Laura who called me. I needed to discuss hmm. the case with her. You're my client? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Can I put you on hold for a second? She's too busy to tell me. Uh, what? Well, you should have told me you're the duck detective. A what duck you? that you've never seen I'm before. I'm a duck. <laughs> I'm wearing a trench coat. <laughs> so is Freddy getting fired or what? <laughs> wearing a trench coat. I'm uh, working on it. Ugh. <laughs> it can't be that hard. Hmm. Sorry, I'm back. Yes, let me walk you through the booking process. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Who's the sheep? Uh, Margaret. She works in, I guess, customer service as well, but she's just away from her desk. Penguin is Rufus. What was his name? Rufus, yes. Works as the janitor. Uh, Boris the Buffalo is a, I'm a guest bus driver because he was out there with the buses. Now that I had everyone's name and job, it would be easier to figure out what was going on. Nice, nice. Now we can progress. It was time that I found out what happened with the lunch theft <laughs> and what they were planning in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's good. Oh, there's more. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So these are closed. So. We've got the kitchen. Blank is planning a blank blank for somebody. Ooh, there's cake. So is it Margaret planning a birthday party? A surprise party. Oh, sorry. <laughs> birthday party. For uh Sophie? Yeah. Hey. Margaret was planning a surprise birthday party for Sophie. Probably to cheer her up because she knew that she had just gotten through a breakup. I see. <laughs> he didn't actually forget Aww, her birthday. That's sweet. Especially since I put it on the actual like thing. There's the notes. The culprit. Blank is being blank by blank because blank picked up the 
wrong bag. I'm assuming this is probably what you call it. Um, Henry, not <laughs> Jesus, not Henry. <laughs> uh, Freddy picked up the wrong bag, but blank is being framed. Yes, I thought so. That's what I'm saying. I'm thinking Rufus did it and blamed uh so freddy is being blamed framed <laughs> by i'm gonna guess rufus because freddy picked up the wrong bag no oh okay someone's being framed by someone because someone picked up the wrong okay i think freddy picked up the wrong bag but oh freddy it could be boris picked up the wrong bed freddy is being framed by maybe boris because freddy picked up the wrong bed no okay i might need some more info <laughs>